folks if they needed a place to mm -hmm. stay. Well, Metro's providing that. There's an right. emergency overflow shelter. It's open now. You know, just somewhere you can go and warm up. That's right. The people have been going there the past several days. And News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy right now is live from one of those shelters. This one's at the fairgrounds. And Dan, uh, as always, plenty of people turning out and no one's being turned away. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of people inside and nobody is turned away from any of these shelters, including this emergency overflow shelter at the fairgrounds, which is going to be open until 10 o'clock this morning. But starting in just a couple hours at 8 a.m., they're going to start shuttling people to some of their day shelters. Metro police were also out late last night uh, checking on folks in some of the homeless uh, camps and offering rides to some of these places. Since December 7th, Metro officers have made more than 2,200 cold weather checks on individuals, but uh, only about a fifth of them have actually accepted transportation to shelters. This is all part of the cold weather community response plan. Right now we're at a level four weather response, meaning this overflow shelter at the fairgrounds is open and will not turn anyone away. Room at the end, we were there yesterday as well. They were at capacity, but started instead of uh, turning people away, they started shuttling people to other places like the uh, the rescue mission, which extended its hours. Also learning that the police, Metro Police Chopper, has been out on some of these cold nights, circling overhead over some of the homeless camps, making sure no one is left behind who doesn't want to be left behind. Reporting live from the fairgrounds, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5.